Good morning, it's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to share some guidance for this week ahead. That's this, this week starting Monday the 14th of March through till Sunday the 20th of March 2022. So welcome. While you're coming in, I want to send out an extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family, and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. Um, so I'm coming to you live now from Tasmania, Australia, where it is Monday the 14th of March here, and the time is exactly 11.16 a.m. Uh, so I trust you're well. Thanks for stopping by today. So what I'm going to be doing, especially if you're new, I'm going to be using my combined Speed of Light Oracle with my Animal Kingdom Oracle cards. And I'll be using this combined deck of 110 cards uh, to look for the best cards for this week ahead. So I'll be doing that by laying the cards out intuitively and then sharing what the cards say for the week ahead. So I'm not pulling cards for individuals. This is not personal guidance, this is general guidance for everyone. So I trust that you've been led here for a reason and I trust that something shared will be helpful and supportive for you. So please, as always, take on board what feels right and what resonates and what fits into your life easily at this time and let the rest go. If it doesn't make sense to you right now, it doesn't matter, just let it go and uh, notice the things that do make sense. So just think of this as a guide only. Now I'm using my microphone today, which I haven't been using for the last couple of months probably. Uh, so I just wanted to check and see if the sound quality is better with the microphone or just with my phone. So it's probably okay while I'm projecting my voice at the microphone. So I'll try not to talk too much down when I'm talking about the cards. So let's get started. I'll be laying out the cards beside me in a moment, but I need to start by um, setting the intention. So my intention, which I would usually do in my head if I wasn't doing a video, um, my intention for this particular reading is that I want to find the best cards for this week ahead for the majority of us for uh, or from Monday the 14th of March through to Sunday the 20th of March 2022 so I'm holding that intention while I shuffle also while I'm shuffling let's just do a quick recap of last week's theme <laughs> last week's theme card which was uh, the butterfly which talked about action passion movement and especially moving from the heart and this sense of dreamy energy too last week I know I was certainly feeling that and maybe you were too but let's turn our attention to the new week now. So I'm continuing to hold the intention to find the best cards for the majority of us for this week ahead, the 14th till the 20th of March 2022. So what do we need to know for this week? And I just close my eyes and I'm looking for how I'm going to lay them out, split the deck into two because that's what I always do. And I'm just going to duck down now and pop the cards face down. Okay, we have five Speed of Light Oracle and two Animal Kingdom. So let's turn them over. Ooh, we do have a dragon, guys. We do have a dragon, and we've also got a featured card, which is the Stellar Cycle card 55. So it has further instructions here, which say to take the fourth card from the top of the deck. So I'm going down one, two, three, four to here. And we have another dragon. Okay, we've got some dragons this week. So dragons, I will talk more about the dragons when I get there. Okay, let's get started. For the beginning of the week, so Monday, it looks like many of us will have quite a productive start to the week. We have card 24, <laughs> 24 called Expanded Love. And it says productivity, teamwork and holding space. 
So I see this as a very productive card, especially productive working uh, in a team or working with other people, if that's where we find ourselves. But there is certainly a start to the week on Monday, especially, that has a lot of energy around uh, productivity, teamwork, and working together with others for a common purpose or a common reason or a common interest that we might have uh, with at least another person. Uh, when I drew this image, I thought of this as being the earth and this as being two figures here coming together in love or for common interest and then spreading their arms like wings of energy around the earth, really holding space and holding the earth in this um, for this common purpose or this common intention let's say a common passion so i feel like we all have different interests and we all have different passions and different things that inspire and motivate us so we might find that as we journey on our path at different times that we meet up with other people who may have a common goal or a common incentive or a common interest uh, the same as we do or similar to what we do so there is this feeling of coming together but especially on an individual level, have quite a productive start to the week. So let's work with that energy as best as we can. So then moving along to Tuesday, the 15th of March, and we have card 47, Persistence. So this card says Patience, Solution, Question, Answer and Night. This is very much reminding us, especially on Tuesday, to be patient and to be persistent. Now, especially Tuesday, is not the time to give up, but to maybe we need to reassess things, um, get our bearings again, or adjust, because our path is always changing. And sometimes we might be going on what we think is this trajectory, but sometimes, well, often things change. So sometimes that path that uh, we're going on requires us to make an adjustment and shift our trajectory a little bit or shift our course so we might find this the case around this time especially for Tuesday and um, we've been encouraged here to keep our dreams alive the owl is sitting in this dream catcher it's definitely not the time to give up so if you feel like you have that sort of energy around you especially Tuesday especially early Tuesday when you feel maybe not quite so optimistic or hopeful that as you did before or maybe the, it's just really hard work, a lot of effort at the moment, and it's just getting too much. So, you know, sometimes we just need to take a break to step back, reassess, look at where adjustments can be made. Do we still want to go on this path? Would be the first question I'd probably ask. Is this a path I want to be continuing, and do I want to continue dedicating time and energy and finances and resources or whatever to this particular path? I think it's really normal to question the path that we're on and make sure that we still feel inspired and motivated and that is the right thing to do. So questioning that can uh, either reveal to us that we might need to change course a bit or it can also confirm to us that yes, we do really want this. So it can sort of um, solidify things a little bit more if we'd been a bit confused or uncertain. So definitely pa being patient being persistent and not giving up for Tuesday. Then we've got a double whammy of dragons here. So for Wednesday, we're just going to go through the week as it happens at this point. Wednesday, the 16th of March, we have the Spirit Dragon, card 26. It says heightened energy. And so for those of you who are new to watching, my Animal Kingdom Oracle cards here, which is half the deck I'm using, contains five dragons dragons of the elements so we've already pulled the water dragon i'll talk about in a minute so we've got all the elements the four elements plus plus the spirit dragon so for me personally i consider the dragons as the highest vibrating cards in the deck so when they come up in a spread it's pretty powerful and pretty important and pretty potent when the spirit dragon comes up this to me is the highest of the dragon so this is the highest vibrating card in the whole deck of 110 cards and it is come has come up for Wednesday the 16th of March so this is a potentially a very powerful day and a very potent day for something that
probably stretches past or beyond um, us, uh, the moment. There is a bigger picture feeling here. There, there is something more significant at play. So it could be connected with other people, you know, the timing thing. You know, as we close one door, we open a new door. But as we close a door, it also allows other people to step up. It's like I've noticed in the band situation when people leave positions, like me being a trumpet player, I used to play second trumpet for years. Then the first trumpets leave and places are vacated, positions are vacated. So that gives me an opportunity through their change to actually step up into a new position. So other people changing also changes situations and lives and things for people around um, in the situation too. And I'm thinking, you know, we're preparing to buy and sell our house to shift things up and set us up for our future. And um, I think about, I often think about actually, you know, where is the house that we're meant to be going to? Is this on the market yet? Is there a delay with that? that person getting it on the market what about who's going to buy our property are they ready yet so there is this big timing thing at play this almost this orchestra of parts that uh, is in effect and it feels to me like with the spirit dragon for Wednesday that there is something especially Wednesday in effect that is going to have a long term there's a long term thing here at play a shuffling, um, a working out perfect timing or things lining up for our future or setting ourselves up for our future as well, perhaps. So the energy is heightened. It's a great day to potentially make changes, to connect with spirit or your spiritual interests, whatever they might be for you personally. And we might find ourselves fairly heightened on Wednesday too. So we're being encouraged. I will always encourage us because I do it to myself as well so when the energy is high and motivating run with it because it's not always going to be that way so if you're feeling motivated and you're feeling strong and you're feeling focused and you're feeling hopeful then move with that energy so it's interesting that we've got patience needed and don't give up on Tuesday but then a heightened state of energy for Wednesday so we might find Tuesday a bit lower or we just have to be a bit more patient Wednesday there's something happening Wednesday now speaking of things happening we've got also energy moving for Thursday the 17th we've got these two cards I don't know if you can see that but that's starry night sky these two cards have come up for a reason together so we're going to look at them separately and then we'll look at their relationship together so also in the animal kingdom oracle cards there are four featured timing cards and this is one of them. <laughs> this is card 55, Stellar Cycle. And it talks about one year. So it's a featured timing card that talks about one year or the long term. Now, if this is coming up around your birthday, if your birthday is around the 17th of March, uh, probably two or three days either side, then this is probably especially important for you. So it's important when it comes up for our birthdays are also around the beginning of the year but this is talking about the long term the next year so from middle of march 2022 till the middle of march 2023 or the long term further ahead than that further forward and it comes up with the water dragon card 24 and the water dragon says diving into new depths diving into new depths this is especially connected with the water element so we can look at the water element representing things like emotions, creativity, also diving into new depths within ourselves. If we have this quest that we want to know ourselves better or understand why we feel a certain way or um, who we are, you know, if we're que uh, questing or questioning these types of parts about ourselves, it takes us deeper into ourselves. So this could be part of this as well. But it talks about something deep shifting and something deep occurring, especially on Thursday, that has to do with the long term um, for the long term for us. So the next year or so or longer. So something deep is moving, maybe something deep that's been sitting under the surface in the blackness, the darkness, the unknown under the sea. 
just like the unknown and the blackness of the night sky, maybe something's going to be bobbing up to the surface, something revealed, something happening that we've been waiting on that's been sitting behind the surface in the background for a while starts moving so there's a feeling not only of diving to new depths but something coming up from the depths that has been you know on the tip of our tongue or something in the air that we haven't been able to fully express or connect with but there's something bobs up to the surface pops up to the surface like a I'm thinking when going fishing and when I have the hook on the line with the little floater, the floaty bit, and when you get a fish on the hook, it pulls the floater down and then it bobs back up if it just bites and, and goes away. See, this is island talk, isn't it? But uh, that's what it feels like, like the bobbing of a cork or something bobbing up to the surface. So this is really good because it means it's something that's been out of view, something that's been hidden, something that hasn't been we haven't been privy to, maybe the timing hasn't been right yet. Something's been revealed and bobbing up and coming up to the surface, coming up to be known. So something might be revealed that's important for the long term for us on Thursday. So let's see. Okay, Friday we're going to feel like we're probably in between things. We keep getting this card. It's card 23 called Overlapping Worlds and it says transition, sensitivity, temporary and adjustment. This did come up last week so I did talk about this last week as well. But there is a transitionary feeling for Friday. We might feel like we're in between things, like we don't really know if we're going here or there. There may be a little bit of uncertainty, so a lack of clarity or a lack of information uh, that may present itself on Friday or may just be hovering before clarity kicks in. Really important part of this card to remember is it's temporary. So feeling like we're confused or in between things or a bit overly sensitive is temporary as we uh, as the energy sort of settles and integrates and works out where it's going to be, what it's going to become and then things become more certain, more concrete, more solid in themselves. So something's transitioning, something's changing. Oh, we have card oh, for Saturday the 19th. I just realised what it is. The 19th of March. This is probably my favourite card because my birthday's on the 14th. Not of this month, of May. But uh, I do love this card number 14. It's called Eagle's Nest. And it says preparation, home, waiting and soon. This is about Saturday and it's talking about changes in the home and that our time of waiting will be over soon and to use our waiting time to prepare, to prepare ourselves as in the way we see fit. So if you're waiting a bit this week, if there's a bit of patience that's needed, then we're waiting. If we find that we're waiting on something, news, information, something to progress or whatever it might be, what can we do with that waiting time? Waiting time is valuable time. It can be uncomfortable time because, you know, we're waiting on information or whatever it might be. But waiting time is valuable. What can we do with our waiting time? Can we catch up on rest? Can we create or, or tie up some loose ends that have been hovering for a while? What can we do? What can we prepare for? Or what can we prepare while we wait? So that's a very grounded energy too for Saturday. But uh, there is a, yeah, something really exciting about this card, especially around the home. And then Sunday the 20th of March is this card, 31, Expression. I haven't seen this for a while. It says communication, listen, share, deliver and trust. So on Sunday we've been encouraged to trust what we need to share or communicate or express or deliver so there are words probably that need to be said or spoken, but having said that, it doesn't have to be words spoken either. There might be some other way that we need to express energy. So why would we express? <laughs> why would we express or need to communicate? One, potentially to get energy moving if we've been bottling things up and things have become a bit stuck or stagnant or blocked up within us. We might need to get energy moving so to express things personally, privately, for healing, for release, that sort of thing. Maybe there's something we need to say to somebody 
or maybe there's something somebody needs to say to us so we need to listen um, maybe there is something else deeper that's going on that needs moving because I find communication emotion expression it's all moving energy so what needs to be moved for you on Sunday and is there a way you can move that energy through expression or communication, through sharing, through delivering a message or through listening? How can you get the energy moving through expression or communication on Sunday? And this will make more sense to us by the time we get to Sunday, no doubt. So, <laughs> thank you. Thanks for connecting today. I am going to pull a card for the theme in just a minute. So before I do, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. If you have enjoyed this connection, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you would love to connect more privately, please send us a message through our website. So I have coming up this week my next card reading club online on zoom it goes for about an hour and we're going to be talking about anchoring cards which are really important to establish a strong connection with your sitter or yourself with the situation and also to confirm and validate the rest of the cards in the reading see as an example i've done a reading for the week i'm doing the reading on monday it's my monday so the monday uh, information should make a little bit of sense because we're here well most of us some of us are here on Monday already so the rest of the cards for example the card for Sunday that's still a whole week away so how can we really know that that's effective or true for us until we get to Sunday there, there are certain cards and ways in a spread that you can um, <clears throat> use certain cards to help validate that you've made a good connection and confirm the rest of the reading so I'm going to be talking about that on Friday in my next card reading club please have a look on my website if you want to join in for that it's on the home page check it out if you're interested also my next online art class is also coming up Friday later in the day and we're going to be exploring the sacral chakra so energies around emotion sexual energy creative energy and expression because expression is so important and being a creative person I find I, I really um, resonate deeply with that energy of expression. It helps get the energy moving. So if you feel blocked up, it may be a good art therapy sort of for you. So check it out if you're interested. So if you want to learn more about me and the work I do here at Temple of Balance, please visit templeofbalance.com.au. If you want to learn more about these card decks or anything else that I've created or resources, made at Temple of Balance, please visit my website. So what will our theme card be? We'll find out in a minute. So our theme card, we've got a very powerful week in store. We've got some very, very uh, potent cards here that are out for the week. Uh, it feels good, I must say. It feels like some things are shifting at the moment, which is great, especially things that have been stuck or stagnant for a little bit or slow to move. So the theme card will help bring these days together and help us see the bigger picture for this week. And bigger pictures are really good to keep in mind with situations. So the best card for the theme for this week ahead, the 14th till the 20th of March 2022 is, uh, let's see, I still need to shuffle. We're going to go with this card right here speed of light oracle for our theme and it's this ah yes card 27 called risk taking risk taking it says a journey unknown beginnings and confidence this is about taking a risk this week and following our heart so depending on the situation and who we are and where we find ourselves it could be a small risk, could be a big risk. But nonetheless, it's potentially a risk that we're going to be stepping out of our comfort zone and trying something new this week. It could be something new that takes us into something brand new. It could be just something new that we haven't experienced before or something new we're going to try. 
you know, stepping out of our comfort zone is a risky thing, depending on, you know, the, the scale of risk depends on what that, that um, step is. But stepping out of our comfort zone is a risk. So are you willing this week to consider stepping out of your comfort zone, taking a risk, following your heart, and seeing if this works? Seeing if this new path that you've been feeling the pull towards or that's been calling you is something that you want to uh, commit to and step onto more uh, confidently. If you're not sure, is there a way that you can test the waters a little bit? If you're not sure but you feel the pull so strongly, can you start taking action? So there is an element of uncomfortableness with this because all risks are like that. So we are stepping out of our comfort zone potentially this week. We could choose not to and then things just stay the same. But if we do find the courage to do so, we might find some really beautiful, uh, important things open up for us this week. There is a growing sense of confidence in this card. And this is especially in our confidence and our own capabilities and abilities to do things. You know, sometimes we step into roles or doing things that are, are totally uncharted territory for us. So we've been encouraged to build our courage, find confidence and step into these new doors and these new aspects that are very different perhaps from what we usually experience or step into. So there's beginnings around, there's the unknown and confidence growing and dreaming. She's dreaming too, she's looking up, she's dreaming. So a lot of dreaming, ambition, dreams, goals, this sort of thing perhaps this week too. So let's have a go. We don't know unless we try. And sometimes it's good to think about what's the worst that could happen here. For example, if we were going to, if we were waiting on news or information and we wanted to add something, what's the worst someone could say? No? Well, they were probably going to say no anyway, potentially, if we didn't add that to it. So if it's a yes or no thing, what's the worst that could happen? You get a no, then nothing's changed. You know, so sometimes that's a really good angle to look at things depending on the situation. So let's see how the week flows. Have a fantastic week ahead. Thank you so much for watching and connecting today. Happy birthday, happy, happy anniversary if you're celebrating. And I look forward to connecting with you on Friday for the Card Reading Club or, or and uh, the online art class. Or if not, I'll be back next Monday for the weekly guidance. And it will be the equinox then, won't it? Nice balance. Okay, thanks guys. Have a great day. I will connect with you again next time.